Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for being here. This is the Connected Conduit, where I link with spirit, my higher self, the energies of the universe, and I channel messages for you guys. Do keep in mind this is general, so only take it if it makes sense to you, if it confirms your intuition, and all of that good stuff, okay? Um, you guys, there was a particular line that I heard just as I sat down to do this, and it's from spirit, okay? And the message is stop ignoring the signs. Stop ignoring the signs that we're trying to, to send you. Okay, so I'm not sure how this applies or what they're talking about. It's going to be different for everybody, but it was a very clear message. Stop ignoring the signs. So let's see if we can get some, some direction here on what exactly is going on. Stop ignoring the signs. See, mental conflict, two of swords on the bottom. This is... Um, blocking out like it's basically you know not wanting to face something or acknowledge something refusing to see ignoring blocking out the signs two movement choices and decision it's another it's another two so it has something to do around a decision or a path movement forward choices and decisions so this could have something to do with a career choice, a romantic choice, anything. Stop ignoring the signs. Stop ignoring the signs about what? Six, moving on. Six of swords. Okay, there could be... A situation or a person here that spirit's asking you to detach from to move on from wisdom a five this is the hierophant feel like, you know, you have a lot of inner wisdom here. You've learned a lot of life lessons. And it's time to share them. It's time to share them with the world. It's time to do something with the knowledge you've learned and gained. Um... So I see a lot of you making a decision to move towards, you could, I don't know, you could want to lead, teach, write something, you could be a public speaker, a group leader, a counselor, an advisor, a spiritual teacher of some sort. Okay, what else? Stop ignoring the signs. What's what's going on? Solitude. So that's the hermit energy. That's all about going within, taking a pause to go within and do the reflection and listen to the voice of your soul and your higher self in order to gain clarity. It's like your intuition and your soul, they're trying to tell you something. Okay. What are the signs trying to say? What are the signs trying to say? Temptation came out and I heard let go. You can let go. And then we have heartache and loss on the bottom, three of swords. Okay. Okay. So for some of you, this is fear that you're hanging on to, fear and worry. And for others of you, it, it is a karmic situation that you need to make the choice to remove yourself from and, and detach. It may be causing you a lot of grief and sadness to do so, but you know that it's the right choice for you. 
Tell me more about this temptation. 14, patience. And then we have disruption on the bottom. This is disrupting your growth. I'm just going to say it how it is, how I'm receiving this message, okay? It's not going to be for all of you. Um, you'll know if this message is for you, okay? Because lately, you would have been feeling not right, exhausted, depleted, confused, um, maybe slipping back into old, like, patterns that you had stopped doing, okay? Um... It's disrupted the flow, the flow of your life. Rejoice in celebration. Okay, some of you, I don't know why this is coming through, but maybe it's a friendship group or dating or going out. Something to do with like nightlife is what I'm picking up. Two, intuition came out. So there's there's a major need here to follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition. It's trying to tell you something about this situation. Sorry about the saw in the background. It's loud. Twelve, sacrifice on the bottom. There's a need to sacrifice here. There's a need to let go and move on of whatever is not serving you. Okay. Heartache and loss. Yeah. Again, it might be very painful for you to do so, but you know deep down inside it's the right thing to do because whatever's going on here has been blocking you from growing and it's left you feeling exhausted, conflicted, defeated. This is the Five of Swords. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to close my window maybe. Oh, are they going to stop? Are they going to stop? Nope. Okay, I'm just going to close my window. Alright, hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Um, so this situation have, has left you feeling heartbroken, exhausted, defeated, um, you could have been dealing with an egotistical person or a group of people where there was just lots of competition. I don't know. It's just ick. It's an icky feeling coming through right now. And it's affecting my heart space. It's heavy. You haven't been at your best since meeting this person or these people. I... I'm just going to give you what I'm hearing, you guys. I'm hearing they're dragging you down. They're dragging you down. They're taking from you. Awareness. I feel like you know this. You're aware of this. They could be manipulating as well. Manipulating you. Manipulate, manipulating certain situations. Um, for like their own motives, ulterior motives, seven of swords I'm picking up, eight positive movement forward, you're going to use your intuition, third eye chakra, you're going to use your intuition and do what's right for you and I see you detaching. I do. Any advice? Any other advice? Trapped in fear. I just heard they've got you like in a loop. In a loop. In a karmic loop. There's a need to break free. There is. There's a need to break free. I just heard they're not for you. They're not for you. You need to let them go. 
of course, you guys, you guys have free will. You have to listen to your own intuition. Follow your own guidance. Tap in. And if something doesn't feel right, if something's icky, you need to move on. It's affecting your foundation. It's affecting your foundation. There's, I just heard reroute, reroute. So change course, change direction, truth. You're going to discover the truth. You're going to make the judgment call because you're going to see clearly that there's a need to detach from, from whatever this is. Okay. Tell us more about this situation. There's something coming through about knowing your worth, knowing your value and not lowering yourself for anybody. Don't dim your light. What else can you tell us about this situation, please? The chariot, it's, it's, it's saying to move on, move forward quite quickly. Choosing a different direction and having the strength, courage, willpower to make the necessary actions, to take the next necessary actions that you need to take, okay? The hangman, it's because you're going to see things are going to come to light. You're going to be able to see things clearly. This is you having an epiphany and letting go, surrendering, going with the flow, because you know that this situation is keeping you stuck. There's the Eight of Swords that I was picking up. They're keep, it's keeping you stuck, trapped in a loop in your mind. Eight of Cups. See, this is you detaching and walking away. Five of Cups. It may cause some sadness, some emotional loss, but you know it's the right thing to do. Queen of Wands. I'm getting that this person or this situation or this group of people, they're dimming your light. You're meant to shine. And I feel like, I don't know. It's just a weird energy coming through. They don't see the real you either. And no offense, but you're way, way, I don't want to say above, but <laughs> you're just more grown. You're, you're more developed. You're more um, spiritually aware. You're more awakened. Okay. These other people aren't quite as far along in their journey as you. And I'm not saying that's a bad or a good thing. It just is what it is, right? So you need to align with people that are more like your match. See, the fool. This is this is about letting go. And there's justice again on the bottom of the deck. It's about doing what's right for you. Queen of Cups. You're very, you're an empath. You're an empath and you have a lot of love to give. But this situation that you're currently in, involved with is taking from you. They're depleting, depleting your energy. The Hermit, there's a need to go within, spend some quiet time alone in solitude and realign pour love into yourself do what's right for you the high priestess see it's time to go within and tap into that intuition intuition twice you know exactly what to do here and there's the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck letting go Ending certain situations in your life that don't align. It's definitely a block for you, okay? I'm picking that up very strongly. It's distracting you. Six of Cups. 
This could be someone from the past or a situation from the past. The temperance. There's a need for healing here and bringing more balance back into your life. Yeah. Any other bits of advice for the collective? Well, Knight of Cups. I feel like you have someone, if this is a relationship and you end up letting go of this, there's somebody much, much, much better coming in. Somebody who's meant for you. They're way more on your level. There's going to be a lot of emotional connection and romance between the two of you. I feel like if you're in a relationship right now, it's very toxic. You're with someone who's egotistical. They don't really see you. They don't value you. And I'm also picking up like they're jealous of you and how much you shine and you glow and they try to dim that, right? And if that's the case, know your, you know, I see you knowing your worth and removing yourself from that. It's painful to do so, but you know it's right. Okay, so that's what I, I don't know, it's kind of a bummer message, but <laughs> um, that's what wanted to come through. Like, stop ignoring the signs that this situation is not right for you, or this person isn't right for you, or this friend group isn't right for you. Um, it's disrupting your peace. And there's a need to detach and, and move on. And I obviously, you guys, you're going to have to use your own intuition. If this message didn't resonate, then you don't have to accept this message, right? But if you're sitting there thinking, yes, I know exactly what she's talking about. I've been, you know, thinking about doing that. Then that's just your confirmation, okay? You can't please everybody. Not everybody is meant for you. And when your vibration is rising, it's going to attract the good, the bad as well. The good and the bad. So that's where discernment comes in. Where do I want to pull from? Romance Angels. unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going there's the cold hard truth right so yeah there's a situation i feel like it is romantic um it doesn't have to be it could also be maybe a career or a job that you do that you just don't like but um yeah there's a, a love situation here where it's just not working out. I was going to say there's not enough attraction because that's what it says. And then we have attraction coming out. So it does have something to do with that. And very soon we have coming out. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like, again, with the Knight of Cups, you do have somebody coming in who will see you the way that... Um, they're going to see you in a very good light. They're going to be very attracted to you. They are going to see your value and your worth. Um, and it's coming in soon. That's why there's, a, you know, spirits encouraging you to really let go of anybody who doesn't value you or doesn't see you. Okay. You're worth more than that. You deserve better. So if there's a situation where somebody doesn't make you feel like you're enough, then that's a toxic situation because you are enough. You're more than enough. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I think I'm going to, I'm just going to pull one more affirmation and then I'll leave it there. Oops.
creativity, I honor my passions. Change me, divine beloved, into one who honors my deepest creative passions and needs. Help me value the talents you have given, both known and unknown. It's interesting. I wasn't really picking up on, on that, but the word value sticks out to me. Help me value, right? So make, making sure you're seeing yourself in a good light. You have good self-worth. Balance, my needs will be met. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can fully offer my schedule to you so my life can be in balance. Let me take rest whenever necessary, trusting that one way or another, all needs will be met. Yeah, so you're going to find the person or the situation that's meant for you. Okay. They are coming in. I do feel it. It's just for some reason, I don't know if you've recently sort of re-entered a karmic cycle with somebody or, or something like that. I'm hearing like whirlwind, world whirlwind. So something that has come through really fast and caused like a lot of disruption. Okay. So yeah, those are the messages, you guys. But I see you going within and finding your truth and taking action on that in order to maintain your peace. Um, and just knowing that, yeah, you're worth so much. You have a lot to offer. Okay. So anyone who can't see that or doesn't understand your value, they got to go. All right. They're not for you. They're not meant for you. All right. That's basically the message. So Spirit says, please stop ignoring the signs we're trying to send you. We really want you to get honest with yourself, see things clearly, and make the necessary adjustments for your life so that you can live your best, your best life without any struggle or competition or feelings of lack, low self-worth, or any of these things, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the message. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.